Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and a wear test of the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. Now this had launched about a year back in US and it has been available on Nykaa since I think November 1st week and my dumbass had ordered it at that time and I completely freaking forgot about it. So finally, I'm gonna sit down and do a review of this foundation. Now the shade that I picked out for myself is 430 Honey Beige and uh, for foundation shade reference, I am NC40 in matte. So if you are new to my channel then welcome and I have an extremely oily greasy skin I have a lot of pores bumps pits blemishes like I recently have a breakout here There are some here and my skin is super problematic and we are going to see how this foundation works throughout the day on my oily greasy ass skin So if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it So the notified whenever I upload and now let's jump right into the video so like any other foundation review on my channel, I'm not going to be using any primer or setting spray just to see how the foundation works on its own without any help and I'm not going to use any highlighter as well because my oily skin is going to get shiny throughout the day. So first, let's talk about the key features of this foundation. Now it says that it has a creamy texture so the foundation goes on like a moisturizer then blends invisibly to even out skin tone weightlessly. Now it has a portable pump packaging which is very very appreciated because even though it comes like in a tube form it does have a pump so that is a great option because it is easy for application with zero mess now less is more just a small amount of the smooth formula allows for easy buildable coverage so this foundation has antioxidants anti pollutants and anti blue light ingredients now anti blue light is basically the light that emits from your mobile phone your computer laptop so that light on a long run is harmful for your skin now I even own my glasses like my normal powered eye glasses that I wear it has that anti blue light reflection which I'll show you right now so these are the glasses that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis and do you see the blue reflection so basically this is an anti blue light reflection kind of a film on it and lastly it does not have oil parabens phthalates which I hope I'm pronouncing it right uh, synthetic dyes and fragrances as well so this is how the packaging looks like and this is not a transparent kind of a tube it is just the shade color and it is pretty sleek and at the other end is the pump which makes life so much more simpler because of a pump on a tube so now coming to the shades, it is quite disappointing because they offer only 11 shades in India wherein in US they offer about 31 shades and out of the 11 shades there is only one or two shades that cater to the darker skin tones. So the first con is right there which is the shade range available in India and the other thing is the quantity. So they offer only 22 ml of product. Now for every foundation the standard quantity is usually 30 ml but then in this it's only 22 ml and and the price point is 1050 rupees for that quantity of 22 ml so i feel the price is a bit higher for the quantity that you get and the other thing that i just want to put it out there is the shade colors that are shown on the nika website or the app it is so weird because the color that i have for myself honey beige if you see the website or the app it literally literally it literally looks pale pink color and even the shade pecan it kind of looks like legit orange color so i don't know why but the shade colors that's chosen on the website or the app of nika is completely off so i don't know look at the images you can have a better idea or do a better research to check for your shade match so now let's quickly move on to the application and I'm going to be using a sponge on this side and a foundation brush on this side. So first I'm going to take one pump of foundation. So there. It's a pretty thick kind of a formula. It does actually have a foundation kind of a smell. Not a fragrance but a foundation smell. I hope that makes sense. So this is how the one pump of foundation is looking like right now. And uh, I feel it has evened out my skin tone, but at the same time, it has given a very natural finish. 
it's not sticky or tacky at all but then I still do see the blemish I have over here I can see my mole the discoloration and my blemish uh, it's kind of covered up but I can still see them so I'm gonna go over with like half a pump and I'm just gonna concentrate on the specific areas I feel that the shade is like the perfect match for my skin tone I'm just hoping that it does not oxidize so yeah I'm gonna stop with this side right here I still have some product which I'm gonna use it on my neck and now I'm gonna go again with one pump for the foundation brush side So the brush side is done. I still have a little bit of foundation left and I feel the coverage is much more better using a brush but again I love the natural finish of it. It's nice. It's beautiful. So this is how the foundation is looking like on its own which I really do like because it has evened out my skin tone and it has given a nice natural finish it's not sticky or tacky like I can just go out like this it still looks good so yeah I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back so I am back right now and this is how my makeup is looking like and I will mention all the products that I have used on the description box below which is my usual go-to products and I really like the way how everything has come together everything blended seamlessly as well so the time right now is about 6 15 p.m. I know it's quite late but I will see you guys soon for the first check-in so the time right now is 11.20 p.m. and it is a little over 5 hours and this is how my makeup is looking like right now. Now one very very obvious fact is that my foundation has oxidized. It has literally become two or three shades darker than my normal skin tone. So when I applied it, it was the exact shade of my skin. But then over time, it started oxidizing quite a lot. So if you are around my skin tone, which is NC40, I would highly suggest you go for a lighter shade than Honey Beige. So you do not get this oxidized. But apart from that, when it comes to the oiliness of my skin, I feel that the T-zone area has become quite shiny and oily. Like overall, it is pretty shiny and dewy, but it is like borderline getting oily, you know? So the time right now is 1.39 a.m. And this is how my skin is looking like after seven, close to seven and a half hours mark. And uh, yeah, it has gone a lot more shinier, a lot more oilier. And that was exactly what I was expecting from my first check-in. So an hour after my first check-in is when the oil started coming through more and it has got much, much more shinier. Now let me quickly blot my face and see how much of oil has come through and if this is savable or not. So I'm taking a nice clean blotting sheet and let's see. one full blotting sheet down so i have used like two blotting sheets and the makeup is looking pretty good and fresh and even at the size of the nose it is kind of okay way better than before but yeah this is how it is looking like right now so let's quickly summarize the pros and the cons of this foundation now for the first pro is that it has anti-pollutants antioxidants uh, the anti-blue light ingredients and it has spf 13 as well now the spf 13 it is very less but still something is better than nothing and overall this has like this nice skincare benefits in your makeup inbuilt so that is a great 
thing. So the second pro is that it comes in a pump. So even though it comes in a tube, it has a pump in it, which is pretty easy to use. The third pro is that it blends seamlessly and gives a nice, beautiful, natural kind of a finish. So this seems like a nice everyday kind of a foundation. So if you're looking for a full beat, full coverage, and if you want to cover like your very dark acne spots, this is not the foundation for you, but this would be a good substitute for your BB or a CC cream to wear on a daily basis. And for the next pro, it is kind of surprising that it did last for about six hours without any primer or any setting spray because of the natural finish that it kind of gave because it was not super matte or it was not super dewy, it was right in between. I thought I would be getting oilier much more sooner, but six hours for an extremely oily skin like mine, that is a good timestamp. And last but not the least, even after blotting, my makeup is looking pretty fresh. I didn't even do any touch-up or anything. I just blotted and removed the excess oil and it still looks really good. So those were the pros and now moving on to the cons. The first and foremost, the biggest con is the shades that are available in India. The reason is because I had mentioned earlier that if you are around my skin tone, you have to go for a shade lighter because of how much it oxidizes. Well. You cannot do that properly. The reason is because the shade number is 430 Honey Beige. Now before that, there are nine shades that are missing and then comes is number 270, which is available in India. So I feel that there are nine different shades that are completely missing and it jumps to a very lighter shade. I'll quickly insert a picture of the swatch of how 270 looks like and how 430 looks like and the shades that are missing in between as well. And the second con is to do with the oxidization of this foundation because it literally turned me like two or three shades darker than my normal skin tone. So once I applied it, it exactly matched my skin tone. But then just after an hour, hour and a half, it started oxidizing a lot and it just did not stop. The more the oil was producing, the more darker my foundation got. And the last con is to do with the amount of product that you get because they provide only 22 ml of product for 1050 rupees wherein the usual standard amount of foundation that you get in the market right now is about 30 ml and uh, 1000 rupees for 22 ml i feel that is a bit high for the quantity that you get so for my overall thoughts on this foundation even though i love the benefits it has it has a good skincare benefits everything is good there's a lot of pros but then the cons are a bit heavy and I feel that I would not be recommending this foundation just because of the shades. There is a huge chunk of shades that are missing and it's a huge jump from a very light foundation to a dark foundation. But then if you're able to find your shade in that level, you can go for this foundation. It's a good one. If you have oily skin, make sure you use a very good primer and setting spray and make sure that you do touch up at every six hours timestamp. But then if you have dry or normal skin, if you're looking for an everyday basis, this is a lovely foundation. Provided you find a shade though. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation and this wraps up today's video you guys. I am so tired. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to the notify whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I will try my best to do that for you. As well as follow me on my socials which is It's Nishanayar on Instagram and It's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye. Thank you.